Greetings, this is Noble Kale from noblekale.com. I've got here a game called Major Drift Racing by Novel Spin Games. Um, it's been submitted for feedback over on Feedback Friday number 44 on reddit.com's r slash gamedev. Um, and the description is a racing game where you can ball up and bounce off walls. Um, and it also features a text-based level editor that makes creating and sharing tracks and procedurally generating tracks pretty easy. So that's actually pretty neat. Um, apparently this week it's been made so that levels 2 through 6 are nice for ball mode. Um, so I have had about 2 seconds worth of play with this one. And um, this is basically what we start up with and it's been made in Unity, so it starts up the Unity web player. Um, anyway, so we've got Let's Race or Play a Custom Level, and then um, Novel Spin Games has been smart enough to put the uh, controls down here. So it's WASD or arrow keys, and ball up is space, so that's left-handed and right-handed, so that's pretty good. Go to last checkpoint is R, which is essential in racing games. It's fantastic. All right, let's just give this one a bit of a bash. Okay, so there are all these different levels. Let's go with level one. Okay, so we have a car. Fantastic, which turns into a ball. Um, okay, so that's a bit of a bug that we've already found out. Um, but let's continue. So, um, got a map down the bottom here, which is fantastic. Now, one of the things that is going to be bad is that in most racing games, space is actually handbrake. Um, so... Um, I'm not sure whether they're kind of planning to trade on that in that, you know, <laughs> um, I'm not seeing ball mode getting that much use. I, I think that the tracks need to be a bit more narrow in order to be using it and I kind of forget that it exists, but, um, I will re-race and I will try to use ball mode more often. So I'm just going to run straight into this wall and ball up at the last second. Boom, like that, okay. Um, but I'm going to be facing the wrong way. So, yeah, see, the thing is, once I pop out of ball mode, it's, it, there's no real benefit to it. I think it's an interesting mechanic, and especially I think that if you combine it with maybe some ramps or something, some kind of jumps. Um, but if you're facing the wrong way, having a ball mode's not going to help you out too much. See, like... There we go. That that was actually to my detriment. So I'm not entirely sure where they really sort of want to go with this one. Um, I think that you could retune it a bit, um, at the very least, have it so that when I hit ball mode, um, if I'm in ball mode for maybe two seconds or more, it automatically rotates me so that I'm facing the right way. Um, we're going to try another one. We're going to try maybe level six um, so this one's far more complex so let's let's give that one a run um, so here we go uh, if I steer I can actually steer while I'm in ball mode and I'm not sure whether that's intended or not um, considering as a ball I shouldn't have any kind of motive force um, and now I'm going the wrong way around the track. Also, another thing that's kind of mandatory for um, racing games, if I go the wrong way down the track, you need to tell me. Um, I know I should be paying attention to that map, but I really, really, really do need to know these things. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Um, should, you know, come up with wrong way, go back, or some kind of indication. Um, yeah, so... Overall, as far as a racing game goes, I find it's not too bad. Um, the physics is pretty alright. I don't think it's 100% accurate, but who cares, it's a racing game. Um, but this this ball mechanic, I'm not particularly seeing too much use for it. I mean, I'm in ball mode now, and it's just pushed me down the wrong way. Um, maybe if there were some kind of hazards, what I would also perhaps like to see is a bit where the track kind of narrows down and I have to be in ball mode in order to get through. Um, I think that that kind of would pay to put in and investigate. Um, but right now, I'm, I'm, 
I'm seeing the fun in the racing component. I'm not seeing any point at all in the um, the ball component, um, especially not until you work out how you're going to take care of making sure I face the right way when I come out of it. Um, anyway, so there's some feedback. Um, look, other things though, uh, I think that you've got a solid racing game here. Um, I think that you just need to sort of sit down and work out what you're going to do with that ball mode. Um, and there's probably a few different ways you can take care of that. So that was a game called Major Drift Racing by Novel Spin Games, and it was on Feedback Friday number 44. Alright, on to the next game.